All right, so the big question is, will your apps work on Mac OS Big Sur? With Apple moving away from using kernel extensions to the more reliable and secure system extensions, it pushes all these application developers to needing to update their apps. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to check to see if your system has any of the older kernel extensions. We're also gonna go over a little review of what a kernel extension is versus a system extension. Then we're gonna go check to see if we have any old 32-bit apps. And also, I've got a couple awesome resources to show you if your apps are actually working okay on Big Sur with information that's coming in from the Mac user community, which is awesome. All right, now would be the time to get subscribed. So click the button and let's dive in. All right, so let's talk about kernel extensions versus system extensions. Apple's new system extensions improves the reliability and security of the Mac OS by cutting off access to the Mac OS kernel and allowing code to be executed only in a controlled user space. As you can see in this picture, it shows the kernel extension inside with the kernel, which creates a possibility for compromise. So if that kernel extension becomes compromised, it now allows other apps to have access to everything that's in the kernel. That's why Apple has moved towards system extensions which are outside of the kernel and then they've developed a bunch of frameworks that the system extension actually works with. Starting in 10.15.4 and later you're going to see these dialogues pop up. If you have apps that use the old kernel extensions this is the dialogue you're going to see to tell you to let you know that you need to let the developers know of that application you're using hey you need to get your stuff updated to using system extension so we can continue to use this in the future because it's not going to work right um, it might work on big sur right now but you don't know with a dot release it might completely end up not working at all right so they're basically saying in 10.15, that is the last OS that fully supports kernel extensions. Let's take a look at how we can find these kernel extensions. Let's open up a terminal session. Command spacebar, type in terminal. Hit return. Command plus. Blow this guy up. Open this up. And I'm just gonna arrow up because I got these commands ready. We're gonna type in kextat. We're gonna pipe that information into a grep minus v com.apple and that just means I wanna exclude everything from the list that's gonna be possibly apple. So I'm gonna hit return and it's gonna show me that I have one piece of software on this system that uses a kext or a kernel extension which is also what they call Macax. So as you can see, it's a Cisco app. Well, it's actually Cisco AnyConnect. This would be one app that I would probably want to go look and find out what Cisco is planning on doing to update that app. Now let's see if we have any system extensions on this Mac. And we don't. We don't have any system extensions. Now let's take a look at if we have any 32-bit apps on this system. I, I need to know if I've got any of the old apps on this system that maybe I want to go talk to the vendor, see if they have a new updated. So what we're going to type in, it's kind of long. It's this entire string. I'm going to hit return. Enter in the password. And as you can see, I've got a couple apps that fall into the 32-bit category. All right, so now let's go check out some of these resources for seeing if our apps are compatible with Big Sur or not. All right, so let's open up Safari and head on over to roaringapps.com. If you scroll down, you can see Big Sur, we're going to 11. 
you can click on view Mac OS apps alright and then once you get there on this column right here I'm gonna click on it once and then I'm gonna click on it one more time and it's gonna show me all the apps that appear to be working fine on Big Sur so you can run through this list and let me just change this to a hundred and you can see there's a ton of apps in the list that appear to be working fine already on Big Sur so this is the one resource that I use for checking app compatibility the other resource that I found that I think is really cool is over on Mac Rumors, they've got a thread where somebody just created this thread and said, hey, edit and add your working apps into the list. So I've got this URL down in the uh, description down below, but it's a huge list of apps. And what I like about this list is if you scroll down, it's a huge list. See this? keep going they've got the not working and it kinda has a little bit of detail around what is not working and then let's scroll down even further and then you've got sorta working and mostly working so this was just last edited a few days ago so I mean this thing's getting updated and edited and it's an awesome list to use as one of your resources for checking Big Sur compatibility of apps. You want to check with the vendor, see if they have any updates that support Big Sur. Um, now, go check out these other Mac OS Big Sur videos I got. And make sure you guys get subscribed to the channel. It really means a lot to have your guys' support. Leave me some comments down, uh, down below. I like chatting with you guys. And uh, y'all have an amazing week. Cheers.